very good morning here on a very interesting Sunday morning. Now, you might be already asleep or you're just waking up. So I believe that this is a beautiful morning to start with Tesla because as you know, on this channel, we have Tesla Sunday. So most of the content here will be about Tesla. So let's dive into some topic that is actually concerning the product lineup of Tesla. And Elon Musk said it many many times the product outline and product pipeline of Tesla is maybe the most interesting and there are some products that are not even launched yet okay so even when we see which products are coming up like the Roadster or the Semi we are still waiting for those products that are still you know in, in development phase you know we have seen the Roadster was just announced like out of nothing right when the, they announced and presented the semi truck so it's always interesting with tesla and uh, shout out to electric that's a online magazine that we will go into in a second and they came up with an information that apparently it got leaked that tesla is working on a van that will be part of a boring company project so as we know the van product segment is something that is quite interesting because um, many many people especially in the US using family vans in Europe it's very common as well and it's a very interesting product also for business so think about urban transportation so once this is very much of self-driving business you will see that more and more vans could be used to transport many people at the same time this sounds a little bit you know not that great uh, during this timings but full self-driving will need some more years to be perfect and therefore i believe that this is something for the next three or four years but however this will be the future this will maybe replace vans uh, sorry this will the vans will replace maybe the buses in the whole world and moreover we see more companies like here amazon working with rivian to create the full electric self-driving for sure at once at some point then that will deliver packages as well right so also this industry is very interesting and also other traditional car manufacturing uh, companies that for example here as you can see Daimler a Mercedes-Benz van very futuristic as well I love the designs sometimes by Mercedes you know it's very futuristic unfortunately you know there's not much cars yet out with this super futuristic design but even this design you know look at that uh, the grill the shapes it looks so beautiful you know they really um, make beautiful cars outside and interior and on top there are drones as well so I think this is this is something for the delivery business as well, but uh, you know, this are this three main parts. So family and urban transportation and business as well. So uh, delivery of packages and so on. So let's dive into the actual article. I put also, if you want to read the whole article, obviously in the description, and if we are looking into the article of electric make sure to check out this website it has a lot and lot of information about tesla and other uh, electric industry headlines news and so on so they are talking about here that in the tesla master plan part two ceo talked about two segments tesla is looking forward uh, to electrify and this was the uh, heavy trucks heavy duty trucks and high passenger density urban transportation and they say you know heavy duty trucks is uh, is already launched with the semi truck but the high passenger density urban transport is still in the making um, and then you know they are now working also between cross companies this is very usual at Tesla you know working with SpaceX for the technology engineering sharing or boring company with transportation so this is like a network of companies that you know it's super great for Tesla and other companies that benefiting from each other for example for the recent SpaceX launch they got some 
uh, Tesla employees, some engineers that helped out as well. So this is quite interesting to see that, you know, it's, it's a whole Elon Musk family across all his companies and boring company. Obviously, super interesting to see that this a uh, very futuristic tunnel manufacturing company will be very Tesla intensive because think about it, these tunnels can be only so small because they don't need like a huge ventilation system, right? And this is because there's no exhaust at the Tesla cars and therefore it's only for electric cars. This is very important. So if you want to drive the tunnels off boring company then you must own a tesla or maybe another uh manufacturer car but i don't think uh, you know they will allow anything else than tesla so this is also a monopoly for tesla to escape the traffic in la right because currently they are constructing uh, or they have a test tunnel in la and now constructing um los Ve Las Vegas tunnel as well, right? So uh, this will be interesting, a 2.8 mile tunnel uh, and link the airport to the station Rancho Cucamonga. So this will be quite interesting. And uh, you know, this is uh, something that they launched. So if you're interested, make sure to check this out. This is uh, a great uh, article. Uh, shout out to the guys of electric always a great source for information for Tesla now What's 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 the important part of that here? So I believe that this is again a Sign for us that Tesla has so much more to come to look forward to and uh, there is so much new products that we even don't know about it and we are so desperate to wait for the battery day where all with step by step there's so many new things coming up what i think you know it's it's important for tesla to focus you know as much as possible on the core products and um, make sure that the core products are nice and you know really uh, top-notch technology and then move and expand. I think it's they making a really good um, uh, move that they not, you know, in the rush to, to launch the Roadster and thinking, okay, you know, it would be cool to have the Roadster in 2020, but maybe it's, it's more important to have the Cybertruck first next year um, or late next year. And then from then we go to the roadster because, you know, the Cybertruck will be so important for revenues and with revenues co incoming, with the growth incoming, uh, the Tesla company can make so much more and so much growth that they can produce. And this is important, guys. And therefore, I believe this is the right choice. And, you know, with time, the Elon Musk team and the Elon Musk Tesla getting much more experienced and mature, which you can see in these business decisions. Um, and I believe that this is very important for the future of Tesla stock, which, you know, is the main focus of, uh, of this channel here, um, speaking about investments. And, uh, you know, this step-by-step -step achievements is contributing to the further growth of the stock. And, you know, Tesla keeps delivering. Right, guys, I just telling you this guy is really doing his job together with his team. Okay, they are delivering and this was absolutely the number one reason why the stock keeps on climbing up and getting milestone by milestone. You don't see something like this very often, guys, okay? So don't miss the opportunity. You know, I was writing the opportunity since last summer uh, when the stock was really cheap, yeah? And if you are followed, if you're not, make sure to subscribe to this channel and thumb up this video and live stream if you liked it so far. And I highly appreciate it that you switched on. This was breaking news. Quick, 10 minutes to the point, and I see you later on with the Tesla Sundays vlog in, let's say, about 8 hours or so. And then tonight, in about, let's say, 11 hours or so, um, a full 
Tesla live stream. A little bit longer, a little bit more with questions and so on. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and thank you very much for watching.